In the natural world, there's talk of a score that's impossible to crack, a job that only the dreamiest dreamers would attempt, the koi ponds at the Dr. Sun Yat-sen garden. Da, damn it! But there's no job too big for a charming rogue otter we call Danny Ocean. Well, he's actually a river otter, so we call him Danny River. The prize koi are worth between $1,000 and $5,000, and so far, Danny has stuffed himself full of $10,000 worth of fish. How'd he do it? First, you need to charm the locals. I talked to Louis Lepron of Chinatown today, whose Team Koi and Team Otter pins have been a sensation. People have they've chosen sides. In this, uh, there's Team Otter and Team Koi. First of all, what side are you on? I started as Team Otter, and I guess I'm still there because, like, I won't turn coat like that. Yeah. But uh, but it's looking pretty bad now for the Koi, and so now I feel guilty yeah. for it. And like, it's, it's like cheering for the bad guy. It's, he started as, you know, cute and like, oh, come pet me. And turns out, no, he was evil all along. Yeah, he, this was all part of a master plan, you could say. He, he played us. He did play us. In phase two, you attack the defenseless koi. No other predators to compete with, and the poor things have no escape. Humane traps were set, but he evaded them, but not before prancing away with the bait. This is no amateur otter. Once I heard he went to a grocery store and stole whole lobster without the cashiers noticing. Now here's the best part. The rescuers, they drain the pond so the fish are easier to find. But guess who else it makes it easy for? You guessed it. They've moved the last remaining koi fish to the Vancouver Aquarium. Wait a second, enhance that last image. You fools, this is exactly what the otter wants. He's gone for the holiest of holies, the granddaddy of them all, the very tippy top, and we delivered him right to it. As for you and I, this conversation never happened. For 22 minutes, I'm Graham Clark. <laughs>